Hi everybody, welcome back to KK6USY Ham Radio Adventures. Last week on Coffee and Ham Radio, uh, the show that we do on Monday, on Saturdays and Sunday mornings, um, Don, N5SKT, brought up the Rig Expert um, AA30. It's a board, it's not a complete um, regular handheld uh, rig expert like you're accustomed to seeing it's it's a board that you kind of ba basically build your own and for some strange reason all four of us bought one and we're going to do a build um and and today i'm just going to show you the parts that we ordered or that i ordered some of the guys had some of the parts already but i i didn't need everything pretty much and and some of the parts i actually got were uh multiple items uh it was just as cheap to buy five as it was one sometimes for certain parts and i figured uh, i'll just put them in the uh in my box of uh parts and i'll end up using them someday so let me get on to the uh what i what we purchased or what i purchased and what we're all going to use for this build okay first of all we we all purchased this rig expert uh, antenna analyzer it's the aa30 and there's the name of it up there 7295 and it sounds like they're going to quit making these. Um, so we jumped on it when we could. They still have some, in, they still have them. And, and estimated shipping date, this is as of today, the uh, 15th, July 15th, 21. They're, they still have them in stock. Now, I have an AA30. And really the only reason that I'm going to build this is because it's supposedly through the software, we can make it go to, uh, instead of, uh, 1.8 to, to 30, it'll go to, um, 230. So I can get the two meter band, the 220 band in there. And I don't have anything for that right now. So this is the first thing we bought and here's just some pictures of it. Um, I'll, I'll blow them up a little bit for you. And this is showing parts that you can use and doggone if that dog's going to quit, not going to quit barking. Okay. So this is just basically they're showing ways of hooking it up and uh, i'll show you the the, the site that we're going to use later and there's the board so then one of the next things that i purchased like i told you i bought i bought five of these i need one but uh these are the rotary encoders and these these came with the wires everything i don't know that i need the wires or not yet because i really don't know what i'm doing <laughs> but i'll figure it out eventually um, when I looked at one or two of these, they, they cost nine or 10 bucks anyhow. So I went ahead and bought this setup here and I will put a link to all these. If you guys are interested, if any, if anybody's interested in these, I'll put them to a link down below. Now, the next thing I purchased was the, the um, this, the module for the display. And this goes along with the Arduino that we bought. And, uh, it's a, it's just has two, uh, there you go. Probably can't see half of that because I'm in the way. But it has two uh, two lines, and you, there's different ones. Uh, this is the one we chose. And then instead of an Arduino uh, to save costs a little bit, we bought I bought this one, and a couple of the other guys already had these. Uh, El Elegu Uno, I don't know R3 board. Your guess is as good as mine. There it is in writing for you. It's twelve dollars. Um, and I, what did I, what was the last one? The, uh, the display was eight ninety nine. So, uh, that was the other, that's all the parts actually that we've, we've got so far. Now the plan for this is to, well, I'll tell you about that in a second. Let me go to the site we're going to do. Now this is the, uh, getting started with zero before you start. And this is, uh, actually this is rig expert site. And it just goes down through, and I haven't really read this yet. I'm just getting, I'm getting this up, set up for our coffee and ham radios for this, this Sunday. We're going to, that's when you're watching this. Um, and then I'll post it later on my site, but it just goes through all the different ways of setting this up. And there is, there is some, I don't know if it's code, if it's really called coding or what, or just programming or what. And that's the part I'm going to have problems building it. I don't have a problem with that. I'm, I'm good at building stuff when it gets to the computer programming type stuff. That's where I'm going to need help from the other guys. So this is my part of the, of the videos that we're going to show here. That's it guys. If, if you want to build, um, we should have it figured out, um, by the time, um, 
well, in, in, in one or two more episodes of, of Coffee and Ham Radios, we should have this all figured out, hopefully. And I think I think uh, Dude has already actually got got it kind of going already and getting things started. And he's done this before. So has Ape. And, you know, T.O., he, he, that guy knows computers and building stuff, all that kind of stuff. So that's where that is. All right, you, you might ask why we might do something like this. It's about $103, and that, that's, that gets me the extra parts also, along with everything else that I bought. Well, let me just show you what uh, the same already built rig expert would cost you. So, And I'm not saying ours is going to be just as good as it, but it should be as far as on the... I know ours is going to work on the computer when you hook it to a computer, So, and that's part of the, pro, the deal with the expert rig, rig experts. That's, they're really cool because you can do that. So here's a Reg Expert uh, AA230 Zoom, um, and this actually has quite a bit of stuff. It looks like here. I guess it comes with everything, but the it costs four hundred dollars, and regular cost is four twenty nine. It's on sale right now. So for one hundred and three dollars, if we can get close to this, and maybe we have to use it, you know, with a laptop or with your your computer in your radio room that's fine that's a that's a big savings and i i i already know <laughs> that it does work so that's the reason we're doing this um it's just a it's a, it's a neat project to build something and to also end up being able to use it and uh, you guys know me i i build a lot of antennas and i i do want to get into more of the two meter and unfortunately i won't do 70 centimeter but maybe some 220 stuff all right so that's that's why we're doing this now, the, the plan also is to put this in a box and maybe make it something like a like a regular rig expert that you'd buy that's the handhelds. I don't know how far we'll get on all this and if it at all is going to work out. Now, we you guys all know that a bunch of us have uh, 3D printers, so you can probably bet that there's going to be some 3D printed uh, parts for this, like for the case for it to hold the screen. Uh, we've already talked about a little bit. We've seen some already some designs out there, but none of them seem to have the screens in them. So we're going to do that. So maybe this will be like a a handheld one, like one you'd buy from Rig Expert. I'm sure it won't be quite as nice, but uh, hey, we made it ourselves, and that's part of the uh, that's part of the fun of the hobby. So hopefully this is going to go real well, and I'm pretty sure it will. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit that hit that all button so you get all of the videos, and then also. If you liked it, please hit the like there. This is Chuck, KK6USY for Ham Radio Adventures. Thanks for joining me. 73 is all. Catch you on the airwaves.